Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple, a crochet and knitting podcast. Um, this is episode number 37, I believe. My cat Stitches is here in the room, so you will see him roaming around in the back if he's not tearing stuff up. Oh, he's coming to see me. Don't make a mess, Stitchy. If you were looking for one of those podcasts where random cattails do not go across your screen, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> okay. The, my podcast is kind of free flowy. Kids interrupt. Cats go everywhere. It's just how it is. I actually have a box right over here of kittens that were just born about a week ago. And they are the sweetest little things. Let's hope they be quiet. Um, like I said, my name is Holly. I am coming to you from Northeast Texas where it is ridiculously hot. Which is unfortunate because I had to turn off my air conditioner to film this podcast. So if I look a little shiny slash sweaty, sorry y'all, <laughs> trying. <laughs> um, I haven't been on in a while and that's been much. But first, before we get to all of that craziness, if you are looking for me anywhere on the internet, I'm pretty much the proper pineapple. On Facebook, the proper pineapple, where I do have a um, cow group so whenever we're doing a crochet along that group is open i also have the pineapple patch members only and that is for members here on youtube um you can right next to my name you can click join and you pay a monthly fee to be a part of the members group um, where i do giveaways and other stuff which i have a giveaway to announce for the members later uh also on instagram i'm the proper pineapple on ravelry i'm ms proper pineapple so you can find me anywhere um, my email is thepropperpineapple at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of me for any reason. Um, and my website is thepropperpineapple.com where you can find all of my patterns and whenever I make stuff, see my hair is all kind of falling. It's been a long day. It's actually late in the day when I'm filming today. <laughs> so it's just been crazy, you guys. So I haven't been on much and I keep trying to get on and I keep trying to do stuff and... I can't I just can't and I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit because I've gotten a lot of comments lately about how I seem sad or down on the channel um it's because I kind of am <laughs> so I have suffered from depression from a young young age and most of the time I am very well at dealing with it I'm not I'm not like suicidal or anything like that guys it never have been I just get really sad like I just want to take a nap just you know sad that's all so I've dealt with that um most of my life in the past few months it's really flared up and gotten kind of bad um things haven't gone smoothly since we've been in Texas then the quarantine happened with COVID and all that craziness and it just was a lot okay it was weighing on me heavily and it caused me to kind of retreat retreat from my channel um i didn't crochet or knit very much at all i just kind of went into my little shell and spent time with my family and enjoyed them which i did i i'm not i haven't just been sitting here in my bed like sad i've enjoyed time with my family and uh, it's just the things that used to bring me joy like my knitting and my crocheting weren't really bringing me joy at all so that was sad, but I am feeling a lot better and I am going to be trying so very hard to get back into my crochet and knitting because I really do miss it now. I finally get that feeling like, oh, I miss it. So I'm really excited to get back into it and try to get some more stuff done. So hopefully I will get back to my normally bubbly self and you guys will be a big part of that because I have had nothing but support since the day I started my channel from you wonderful people watching and I love you guys all so much. I've met many, many of you and wish I could hang out with the rest of you. You guys are all amazing. So now that I'm done with my whole like sob story about my life, <laughs> let's get right into it. I don't really have much because I told you my depression kicked in and I couldn't do anything. But I'll show you what I do have. I'll talk about some makes that I have coming up. And then I've got a little bit of mail and some stuff that I ordered. And I will show you all that. And then that'll be it, y'all. Oh, and I'll talk about the giveaway for the Pineapple Patch members. So the first thing I want to show you is a knitting project 
that I have here. It is the Lounging Top by Hohi, Hohi Locatelli. I have the hardest time saying that. I have it here in my bag. This is one that I made. This is one of my favorites. Look, you guys. It's got like space unicorns. And it's covered in so much lint because I have cats. Do you guys hear the kittens? One of the little kittens is my yet. He wants his mommy. But she just fed them. That's why I started the podcast. So they're not starving, you guys. She just needed to go out and get her food now. <laughs> so, okay. So here I am doing this in some yarn from Breaking Bad Yarn. In her color, Breaking Princess. And here's the color. It's this gorgeous pink and purple. The skein's a hot mess because I let Squish help me skein this one. So pretty. You guys, I love this. And when she contacted me and asked me if I wanted to use some of her yarn to make something, I had been wanting to make this top. And I went and looked and I saw this color. And I was like, this couldn't say Holly more if it tried. I mean, hot pink and purple is my jam all day long. I would do everything in hot pink and purple if I could with a little bit of lime green and a little bit of yellow. And I'd be a happy, happy camper. <laughs> so, okay, this is my first ever knitted garment and I am doing it all kinds of wrong but let me show you what I have so far so I think the last time I showed you guys I hadn't maybe I had just joined it's stitchy what's wrong baby the kitty wants out but anyways here it is I am working down the body I had made the oh my gosh you guys it looks even better on camera this is the front of it this is the back of it Oh, uh, doesn't this look like Cheshire Cat from Disney's Alice in Wonderland? The cartoon, not the one with uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> but I love it so much. He is my absolute favorite character. I love him. I'm looking for Cheshire things to put in my studio because I love it. But anyways, oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to get it done. Like I said, I have about seven inches from the armpit to the body. I need 14, so I'm about halfway there. Then I just do a border on the bottom, and then I pick up and do a border around the neck. And that is it, because the sleeves are just kind of these, like, shouldery ones here. And they already, you already did, like, a, um, what is it called? Garter. Garter stitch. Garter stitch. You do a garter stitch border on those as you go. So you're good. Now, the way this has worked is it's kind of worked. You do a little of this side, a little of this side, and you join them, both on the front and the back. Then you work the body. So when I was doing the upper portions, the right and the left, I used one skein, just did them. Then once I joined in the body, I started alternating. And I'm happy. I love there's little spots here where there's big color pooling. Down here toward the bottom, I'm starting. I don't want to. I don't want to fall off my needles. He's chasing a fly, you guys. There's some more color pooling going on. I love the color pooling. I do. And like I said, this is going to be my Cheshire sweater, and I cannot wait to wear this. I love it so much. I was kind of like, as I started it, like, like I don't want to make this. And the more I made, the more I fell in love. It's just so pretty, you guys. Now. The pattern, I assume, is written wonderfully. I say I assume because this is my first ever knitted garment. So I, I have, I've got no idea. Nothing to compare it to. Nothing to be like, oh, she wrote that really bad and confusing. I was able to grasp how to do it. I was able to actually alter a few things I'm going to talk about. So first off, I did gauge swatch. I used the needle that I called for. I gauge swatched. I was way off. I was off in rows. I was off in stitches. I was off everywhere. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and start it. So the first thing you make is the upper back. I made it three times before I finally got it to where I wanted to. And I had to go from, basically, I had to go down three needle sizes and go from a large, which is what I usually wear, to the extra small. I've never been an extra small in my life. It does I've held it up to me. It looks like it's going to fit great. It is super washed, so it will definitely, like, stretch. So I'm not worried about it. Is that the way you should make a sweater? No. <laughs> you should you should gauge swatch so you get it right. Because I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants. Like, 
this will work but that was the, so that was one alteration I did was messing around with the sizing but it's working out then two you're supposed to uh, knit let me see if I can get it here to show you get it up so the way you do this is because you did those yes here I'm just trying to get all of the strings because I haven't tucked in any of them because you did those garter stitch sleeves Let's see right here. See the little garter stitch edge? The side of the, the panel has a garter stitch side that runs all the way down the side, which I think is a super cute detail. The way this worked, and I know why, because um, it's supposed to be a high-low, so the back is supposed to come lower. So she split the rounds right in the middle of that garter stitch section so that when it gets around to the high-low, you have that. Stitches... Come here, baby. You guys hear him? He wants out so bad, but he's just going to have to wait two seconds because I'm almost done. Um, so you needed that for later. I didn't want a high-low. I want mine to be flat. So I was able to take that out because, see, one thing I noticed, and again, I might have done it wrong, you guys. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If something is wrong, I this is not at all anything about Hohi. Maybe I just read it wrong and did it wrong. You'll see here, I was doing it in the way I thought was how it was written here in the beginning. And you can kind of see where you can see where it changes. And I didn't like that. So I played around where the beginning of my round is and you could see where I changed it down here so that it looked the same as the other side. I changed my round now at the end of it versus in the middle. Um, so I changed that. I understand now that I would have to change that back if I wanted to do that high-low hem. I don't, I'm not a big fan of high-low hems most of the time. Sometimes they're super cute, but I just wanted it to be flat. So I'm super excited that I'm like halfway done with the body. Super excited. So that is my lounging top by Hovey. I'm going to set this back here. Um, the only other thing I was working on, I have in this adorable little bag that I got at Michigan Fiber Studio in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The owner's mother made this. It's a little sock sack. It's got a little sheep on it. So cute. I love this. And I'm making a crocheted sock. Oh my gosh. I left the pattern over there. But it is, let me look it up on my Ravel Ring because it's so rude of me not to tell you the name of the pattern. Oh, I know what it was called. It's called the Samba Sock. And if you um, link down below to my Ravelry, if you go to my Ravelry page, you'll see my Samba Sock. So, Natalie from Knitting Natty, who I've uh, talked about on my channel, she's talked about me on her channel, she was doing Sock Week, and where it was basically, she does this every year, and basically you just have to make one sock in a week. Now I did it, I made a sock in a week. I don't know if I'll make the second one. I will, I'll make the second one, just so I can say I made a pair of socks. But I wanted to crochet some, so I got some Yarn Bee Cozy Toes from Hobby Lobby in the color Fierce Flame. So here's the label and that's kind of the gradient. And I made the Samba Sock. Um, I think it turned out great. Here it is. I don't have sock blockers, you guys, but I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Love the way the purple and the pink and a little bit of yellow and orange. Absolutely love it. And I have about this much left of that ball. I could probably make the other sock just out of this because here's the other ball. Sorry, there's some black thread that I don't know why is in there. I have no idea. Anyways, so I probably could get a, uh, two more pairs of socks out of this deal. It's, But I probably won't. I'm not a huge sock maker. I don't like making socks. This was not super enjoyable for me. It wasn't hard. It was great. It went by quick. quick. But it wasn't very enjoyable. So I will probably make the second sock. And this will probably be my only pair. Because I don't do socks, y'all. I just don't like enjoy making socks. And I am jealous when I see all these people. Like the crazy sock lady. And Nitty Natty. And the yarn hoarder. All making socks. I'm so jealous. But I'm not going to do it, you guys. And I used a 3.25 millimeter hook. I thought this one went well too. This is one of my Touche Crochet hooks. She makes stunning hooks. I absolutely love her. You guys should definitely check her out. Okay, so that is it for projects. That's all I've been doing. But I have some upcoming projects. I really, 
really want to work on. So, sorry about that. My dog decided to chew on the leg of my tripod, causing it to shake. My little kitties are hungry. Well, they're not hungry. Their mom is right here in the room. They're just being a brat. Um, so, I really want to pick up my birds of a feather and get working on that again. Because I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then, as far as new, there's so many things I want to... Knitting-wise, I want to make the summer camp shawl, which is so pretty. It's like... Uh, stripes like two contrasting colors and it's kind of like scalloped on the edge it's a knitted shawl it's beautiful as far as crochet I am working on some new dolls you guys I'm so excited you guys know I used to make the best dolls and then I kind of got wore out and I was like ew no more dolls well I'm I'm back I want to make dolls I'm so excited to be making them I have a couple of them in the works right now like I'm actually making them the only thing that is slowing me down is you guys know my husband used to make the soles and the spines at his job well then he lost his job when he um, became disabled and so we've been going back and forth about how to get them made uh, just trying to find the best pricing because the price we were getting for him to make them is nowhere near what we're gonna get to have to buy them so I will have the soles and spines for the doll patterns back the price will be going up a bit because we've looked around we've tried for a long time it's the only thing we can do is pay the price they want because we just can't do it any cheaper so those will be back so as soon as we get those in I will be having a new doll pattern coming out super excited about it I will also have a couple of dolls that I'm just making that will be up for sale on my website because sometimes I want to write a doll pattern and other times I just want to make a doll. I just want to make the doll and put it out for sale. I don't need to like write the pattern or do anything else. I just want to do that. Um, so that's my future makes that are coming up really, really quickly. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to share those with you guys. I know you're going to love them. They're going to, they're so cute. Like I said, I only have little bits made like one I have the head made, the other one got the head and the neck I'm working but I'm making them and I'm super excited so I'm excited to share those with you guys um I did get some mail I actually got this mail a little while ago from two people and I feel so bad I haven't showed it on the channel I should have showed it in my last podcast and I did not so the first package I got here is from Chiquita Crochet she's so sweet she sent me a bunch of stuff and my kids have actually, because it sat for so long, ransacked it. It had a little candy in it. It had some other stuff. But she sent me a bunch of stuff, like some stickers. A lot of, like, um, stuff for scrapbooking. Look at this little pineapple picture frame. So cute. This is a cross stitch I'm going to do with my daughter. Um, she sent me some papers, which I think are so cute. Just some fun, like, um, scrapbooking paper. And like frames and she wrote me an adorable letter that she kind of like embellished she even had pineapple stickers all over it I love it so much you guys I love this one pineapple he's a pirate do you see the pirate pineapple <laughs> it's hilarious it's a pine pirate pineapple but the reason she sent me the package is she wrote me and asked me if I wanted some scraps of fabric of hers um, so she sent me a bunch of scraps of fabric of flying pigs. They're so cute. I'm not, and some other stuff, like here's some cows and so The mommy kitty just got in the box. So do you hear the cute little meows? It's so funny. She just fed them before I started filming. And now that they're in the box, she's like, they're like, we never got fed. Anyways, so thank you so much for these. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I am going to do something fun with these. The other package I was so so shocked and blessed it came from um, Ryan of the yarn hag Ryan which I love and adore you guys you should totally check her channel out let me just get everything out of the box here to show you because it was so sweet of her okay so she sent me a card that had a big pineapple sticker on it oh my gosh I love it so much let me see if I can get this off without ripping that sticker again because I did read the card, but it had these beautiful butterflies. And oh, I forgot about these because I put them back in the box. So it's a card. Thank you so much, Ryan. It was so sweet. And look, she sent me stickers. Oh my gosh, look at this one. A 
pineapple. Look at this frog. I love that frog. And then she sent me her Yarn Hag Ryan sticker. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this one I adore. I love them so much. She also sent this beautiful iron-on pineapple. That might go on my daughter's. She sent some pineapple socks, which I love. I can't wait to wear these. She sent me this shirt, which I think is hilarious. It's perfect because Halloween's coming up. It's a little bat pineapple. Isn't that cute, you guys? Like a little bat pineapple. It's so cute. The light's like blowing out those white. It's so funny. I love it. Thank you so much. And let's see. She got me a large, which is perfect. That's what size I wear. So, <laughs> um, Man, I can't believe she did this. I cannot remember who she said did these. And you should write her and ask her. But she sent me some crochet hooks. And oh my gosh, I was, so, I was so shocked. So one of them says, for the love of crochet, uh, these are both US 5s or US 8s. It's a five millimeter. And the other one says, the proper pineapple. Look, can you guys see? Let me see if I can get that to, there we go. Look, for the love of crochet and the proper pineapple. I was so shocked when I got these. I love them. These aren't really, I'm probably not going to crochet with these. These are more decoration. I'm going to have these up somewhere because I love them so much. Oh, they were so, she was so sweet. Actually, the day I got this package was one of the days I was having a really bad day with my depression. And I was really sad. And I just wanted to like lay down because I was just sad. And my husband walked in with this package and she, he was like, you got a package. And I opened it. And packages always make me happy for some reason because it's like Christmas all the time. And it was from Ryan and I saw these and I almost died. I like cried tears of joy. They were so cute. It was so sweet of her to think of me. I adore her. She is such a sweetheart. So thank you so much, Ryan. And if you guys don't watch the Yarn Hag Ryan, please go over and watch her and tell her Holly from the Proper Pineapple said hi. Um, if you guys watched my last video, it was my quarantine haul of hand-dyed yarns because normally, by this time of the year, I would have been so many yarn festivals, <laughs> which is maybe why I'm so sad. I love going to yarn festivals. One, seeing yarn in person is so much better. Squishing yarn, seeing the people that come, it's all so much better than doing it online. Hear my dog barking, she's being rude. Well, I follow this lovely lady online. Oh, anyways, lost track. I had two things that one had came I forgot to show you and one hadn't came yet and I'll talk about that. So this is the one I forgot to show you. This is a little bag it came in. It's Handmade Knits by Tracy. She is so great. And she makes these hand knit bracelets with um, metal stamped sayings and adorable buttons. This is the one I got. Look, so this is her knitting, which is so beautiful. I don't know what yarn she used, but it's so pretty. And then the button so pretty and then the one that I got because I got this when I was in the middle of my depression was God always wins and I just thought that was so perfect because he does and it, it helps me out greatly so I adore this I cannot recommend going and checking her out enough I think you guys will adore it too so handmade knits by Tracy totally check her out I love them and I want more of her bracelets the other thing I got was a pack, a set of yarn. I'm going to get it out here because I'll try to show you it in order. It was a rainbow set of yarn by Truly Hooked Yarn, Truly Hooked Hand Dyed Yarns, who, which is over in, I want to say Germany. I might be completely wrong. Please do not shoot me. I ordered them and then somehow they got lost in the mail, which is sad because I love this yarn so much. And she, I reached out to her. I waited like two and a half months. I reached out to her again. She said, you know what? I'm just going to send them again. And this time I'll put a tracking number so we know it gets to you. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. So she did it and I got it. And oh my gosh, it was totally worth the wait, you guys. Okay. So it is a, <laughs> I don't remember how she showed it. Okay. Okay, it is a six skein rainbow. And then I added on two extra skeins. So I'm going to show you the six skeins. So the first one is this one. 
Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? It's called Blue Lagoon. All of this is on her standard sock, which is 75 um, superwash merino, 25 nylon, 425 meters per 100 grams. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. So Blue Lagoon. And I'll set this right here, I guess. I guess. Then the next one would be Acid Trip, which is this great like neon green. It's kind of blowing out a little. There we go. That's better. This beautiful speckly neon green with some white in it. That's Acid Trip. Then Stop Traffic, which is this bright yellow with a little black. I love it so much. The next one is Blow Your Whistle. You guys, look at this orange. It's so blowing out. Okay, there it is. That's a little closer. These are a little more creamy. but <laughs> It's so neon, it's blowing out my camera. Next is probably my favorite, Sugar Pill this beautiful pink it's a little brighter on camera than it is in person it's a little more bubblegummy in person but it's so pretty and the last one which is also one of my favorites is called grape ape oh my gosh you guys then the 16s was not enough i had to add on night fury this beautiful black and light fury because I'm a huge How to Train Your Dragons nerd. So let's see if I can pick them up. So light. This is how they showed it in the photo. So I'm trying to pick it up so you guys can see it. But it's eight skeins of hand-dyed yarn. It's a lot of yarn, you guys. And I, I might be getting it wrong of how she showed it in the photo. But uh, there they are. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like my yarn babies. <laughs> I love them so much. I am so glad I finally got them so that I can stick them up in my shelf and just admire how gorgeous they are. She did an amazing job. You guys should totally check her out. And she was so wonderful to work with me with the crazy shipping issue. Um, if the yarn that I originally ordered ever shows up, I will update you on that. But as of right now, it appears to have just been lost in the mail, which is sad. Or somebody stole some stunning yarn. Anyways, guys, I gotta get out of here because I'm super tired and super hot, but I want to talk to the Pineapple Patch members. So if you are a paid member of this channel, then I'm going to host a giveaway. I think one or two people, I'm going, no need. You don't have to enter. You don't have to comment anywhere. Nothing because you see, if you're a paid member, I have a special page in my back, you know, the background side of the YouTube that tells me everybody who's a member. And I'm going to take all your names at the end of the month. And I'm going to stick them in a random number generator sort of thingy, comment generator, whatever we want to use, and pick a winner or two. I have some, I have a bunch of yarn I'm trying to decide what to give away. So in my next podcast, which will probably be the beginning of September, I will show you what won and what you won and who won. I'm probably going to pick one or two winners, maybe three. And like I said, you Pineapple Patch members don't have to do nothing. Just be a member at the end of the month. I will pick a winner from my paid membership people. If you are not a member yet, but you want to get in on the action because I have a lot of giveaways and stuff coming up for them, um, go ahead and join. You still have time. I'm going to be picking at the end of the month. So anybody who joins between now and the end of the month can still be entered to win. So like I said, right down where it says the proper pineapple should have a join button. You just hit it and follow the prompts and that's it. That's all you have to do. Nothing else. Um, oh, I almost forgot about the cal I am currently hosting with Reggie of J Hook Crochet. It's the Calling Isabella Cal. You guys, I'm so horrible. I got all kinds of sad while trying to pick out yarn to make it, and I did not pick out yarn. I want to make it. I'm still gonna make it, but I didn't make it. But don't worry, I. I'm still going to make it and the cal is still going to the end of this month. You still have time to enter. I will be picking a winner from Instagram and from my Facebook cal group. Reggie will be picking a winner from her Instagram, her Facebook page, and I believe her Ravelry group. So you have lots of chances to win. So please, please, please go enter everywhere you can. Make the cal. I'm accepting whips. So if you don't even get it finished, I will still put you in for a winner because I'm not going to have mine finished either sadness sorry anyways i'm gonna get out of here i hope to see you all again very soon because like i said things are a little better as my kitty cat frankie she's the mommy kitty 
things are getting a little better here if the heat dies down because it is hot y'all in east texas it's just hot it's, it's like ungodly hot <laughs> anyways i gotta get out of here so that i can turn the air conditioner back on my kids are probably sweating like dogs so i was just making sure i didn't forget anything please get entered to the um cal group or use the hashtag on instagram for the cal to enter and go over and check out Reggie's pages to enter there too. Please enter. It's a wonderful pattern and I can't wait to make it now that I'm like done being sad for myself, right? <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I love y'all and I'll see you later.